everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my fire signs. I'm doing your X's and O's spread for Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So um, I'm gonna do one at a time. If you guys would be so kind as to time stamp, thank you so, so much in advance. Also, something else. Um, What is it? I think that was it. So I'm gonna start with Aries. X's and O's for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. X's and O's. What can they expect for the week of July 20th, 2020? Ooh, travel. There's an X traveling towards you. They're gonna be messaging you about this. An ex, is, an ex is going to be telling you that they left someone that was toxic. Yeah, could be a fellow, um, could be a fellow Aries. Could be a child's father, an ex-husband, a husband telling you that they left someone. Yep, eight, we got the eight of pentacles and then the two of wands. They, they're coming, they're coming your way. They wanna, they wanna reunite with you. The fool card some of you would be foolish to just believe this some of you need to do your homework before you take this person back could be a gemini a libra or an aquarius could be a fellow aries could be a capricorn a taurus or a virgo man or woman yeah some of you don't want to hear from this person um somebody may be visiting you in your dreams i got this for scorpio as well so if you guys have a connection to a scorpio somebody's uh somebody's coming into their dreams and being weird um Aries, I, I also feel like an ex may be sizing up your new partner. So if you guys are dating now, they could be sizing them up. Maybe they're sizing them up through, um, ouch. Ow. Maybe they're sizing up a current partner that you have. An ex is sizing up a current partner that you have. Maybe with tarot cards. Maybe through, you know, astro travel maybe through another reader maybe through the, you know something or maybe just the old-fashioned way stalking and spying driving past your house seeing what you're doing um for some reason i feel like somebody um somebody has access to your emails and x has access to your emails so if you guys have signed up for dating sites your exes may actually be logged into your dating sites if you guys are on any kind of social media sites and you happen to be logged out every time you go in there I'm seeing that maybe there's an X that's up that's in your, that's actually in your social media. They, whatever messages that get sent, they, they read them. Somebody's, somebody's infiltrating everything. An X. I feel like an X that wanted to keep you in a third party situation or they didn't want to commit to you or the other people. They just wanted to be free to just do whatever. Oh, that's who's coming back. That's who wants you back. I feel like maybe they're making a choice. But I feel like it wasn't their choice to make. Maybe the other person that they left you for, or the other person that they were spending more time with, the, the other person who was getting more attention, I feel like whoever this is, they uh, maybe they found someone else and they kicked the ex to the curb. So that's why this ex now wants you because they don't have anybody. Maybe they're choosing you because you're the only one left. N you know, no offense, but it, it just looks like this is a grimy person. I feel like with the X's and O's, some of you just are starting new lives. You're starting new relationships. You're just doing it. So also, I feel like maybe somebody's a cross-dresser and you don't know it. Could be a Capricorn. 
Do you, cause you do see how this Capricorn is? Well, I don't know why I'm getting Capricorn. This could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. But do you see how it's like wearing the face of makeup and then, you know, one high heel here. Like it's just, it's two faced. It's some, somebody's living a double life. There could be somebody who's bisexual or they cross dress, but they're not coming out yet. Um, I don't know if cross dressing is the right term. Um, um, I get people emailing me telling me, Jamie, that's not the right term. Don't say that. Don't, I don't know. I'm trying guys. I'm ignorant. You know, you know, I, you know, I'm slow. You know, I'm, I'm learning things slowly. So be patient with me. I love everybody. So if, if that's the wrong term, you can't say midget either. You got to say little person. Um, I heard you can't say Eskimo. So I'm not sure what you replace that with. Um, I, the E word that I just said, I grew up thinking that those were like the most magnificent little, little things in the whole world. Um, you know, watching cartoons with them. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the cat in the hat. And then they were like saying Eskimo and they showed these cute little little kids with these little Eskimo out, like the little fluffies. But anyway, before I dig a bigger hole, I'm going to move on to Sagittarius. <laughs> but I just love them. All right. <laughs> All right. As of July, <laughs> for the week of July 20th, 2020, X's nose for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Thank you, Bernice, by the way, for letting me know that I can't say that. I can't say Eskimo. Thank you. All right. That's a July. For, oh, for the week of July 2020, X's and O's for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay, what can we expect? Ooh, you got the Page of Swords. Somebody's waiting and watching. What do they want? Could be a um, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Big emphasis on Aquarius. Some of you are, you got it going on. Some of you Sagittarius are gussing it up. Um, Ace of Cups, you guys are showing off. Some of you are just simply showing off and your ex is watching you do it. Maybe for some of you, you're trying to show off to your ex. It's working. If this is what you wanted, you got it. Some of you are doing, it looks almost like photo shoots. It looks like you got a new outfit on. Like maybe, maybe you're doing it in one day. You're trying on 10 different outfits, 10 different looks, and you're taking pictures of it, posting them every few days. And yeah, some of you, you know, you know, everybody's talking and you know, everybody's watching. So your ex is talking, watching. Everyone thinks you got a bunch of money. Somebody thinks you're sitting on, an ex thinks you're sitting on a pile of money. Expect communication. The magician, somebody thinks you're a, vo a voodoo priest or priestess. Somebody thinks that you, that you sold your soul to the devil to get money. This is an ex's opinion. Doesn't mean it happened. Okay. Yep. They feel like you're, see, they, they feel like you're making magic. You're doing magic. An ex feels like you, you've done magic to ruin their life and for your life to get better. Let me see what else. These exes, yikes. Yeah, they feel like you have them stuck on you. See, there, maybe some of you did do this, but I feel like even if you didn't, this ex would be stuck on you because you're, because you're magnificent. They're not going to let you go. Maybe, maybe at the time, you know, sometimes when people get spoiled so much, they think that they can be treated like that by everybody. So I feel like Sagittarius, you're so good to your partners. I feel like you give good SEX. I feel like you give good love. I feel like you're supportive. I feel like you keep a clean house. I feel like whether you're a man or a woman, I feel like you're like the whole package. So when people get with you, they sometimes get a little lazy or they figure out any, I'm, I'm the, the reason why I'm being treated like this is because I'm so great. They're not looking at you like, oh, you're, you're an incredible lover. Like you're, you're the, you're the end all be all. Once they're away from you though, then they're like, damn, I messed up. Damn. Why did I do this? I could have had everything. Now they want you back. I don't think, you know, for some of you, yeah, you're doing, you're doing some spiritual stuff, but, but, um, but even if you weren't, like I said, you would still, people would still see you like this. Now there could be an ex that is trying to do spiritual work on you to keep you stuck, but you guys are getting out of that. That stuff's temporary. Do you see this clock? That's temporary. Once a, once a clock strikes 12, you're free. So maybe for some of you, you might have bouts of um, feeling energetically drained, feeling overly exhausted, but then you're like, bam, I'm up, I'm ready to go. I can do in one day what, what somebody could do in a week. So they might be trying to slow you down, but the clock strikes 12, like I said, and you're free. So let, let's do Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the week of July 20th, 2020. 
Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for the week of July, July 20th, 2020. X is an O spread for Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. The Justice card, the Death card. Somebody's seeing it's really over. Could be a Libra, could be a Scorpio. Some, some, an X has decided that they know it's over. Like that somebody's coming to terms with the fact that it's over. They waited too long. They betrayed you too much. It's over. And cross watchers, this could be the other way around. Some somebody caused somebody to have somebody ruined somebody's reputation, somebody ruined somebody's life. Or they tried to. They tried to embarrass you. Leo, or this, and again, guys, this could be the other way around, so I don't need any emails later. This could be Leo that effed everything up. This could be Leo that's Satan the devil. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone else, so I, I agree. But this is Leo's X's and O's spread, so I gotta, you know, do it. Um, So look at all this. Some of you have a whole trail of X's. Some of you have been fucking everybody. You guys have been, <laughs> you guys have been in everybody. No offense. Um, uh, <laughs> Tupac, you get around. All right. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people here. Um, I feel like either you, Leo, or your ex was doing everybody in town. Or at least everybody in town spreading these rumors. Somebody feels betrayed. Maybe somebody was a Susie homemaker or daddy homemaker. And, um... The other party, the other part of the relationship, the other partner in the relationship was out sleeping with everybody. Doing drugs, getting high, sleeping around, being weird. Um, but I feel like somebody did was unfaithful in the relation. Okay, I feel like there was one party. So let's say, for example, it was you, Leo, who was all over town doing with everybody while you, while you had a husband or wife that was staying at home, just being a mom, being a dad, being a husband, being a wife, waiting for you to come home. I feel like they got fed up. And they cheated, but they cheated once. But I feel like if this is you, Leo, again, it could be the other way around. If this is you, Leo, I feel like whoever this, if this is you, I feel like you cannot get past this. It's like, I can do whatever I want, but you, how dare you? Now you're damaged. Now you're dirty. How dare you? And this one time cheating may have been just text messaging. It may have been a hello or good afternoon or confiding in someone. It wasn't nearly as bad as the person who was sleeping with everybody, like embarrassing, embarrassing their husband and wife on a daily basis, like just embarrassment to be associated. I'm seeing whoever this person is, they're coming to terms that they messed up and that it's over. Somebody's moving on. Somebody's moving forward. But I do see all the all the people that you guys were sleeping with. They're going to try to get back with you to sleep with you some more, but they're all entangled with relationships, too. Leo. Wow. Usually Scorpio gets crazy readings like this. Whoa, Leo. It's just, you know, just wrap it up. You know, be safe. I can't tell you what to do, but wrap it up. All right. Um, all right, my fire signs. That was your um, X's and O's week of July 2020 general reading for fire signs. Um, if you guys have ordered a $10 one question, one answer via email only or a same day reading and you've not heard from me within about 45 minutes, feel free to email me to let me know so I can hurry up and answer your questions, hurry up and do your readings. Also, um, uh, the reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. The reading specials are going to, the reading specials are done seven to 10 days after purchase. If you guys don't want to wait seven to 10 days, um, for your reading, you can order a same-day reading, which is no wait, or you can order a um, regular reading, which is done in 24 to 72 hours after purchase. Um, I've got a second tarot card channel. It's Jamie Zebra 23 Chat. If you guys want to go over there, like, share, subscribe, and comment, that would be lovely. All right, JamieZebra23.com. Hey, Jamie Zebra 23 Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video, and it tells you... Um, 
where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same-day reading, so you don't have to wait. Same-day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus, I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video, and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds, and also the description box says it too, jamiezebra23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23 so I have a fans-only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys. Um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23 ta-ta for now.